I'm on the hunt for the single best note-taking tool out there for students, and I'm committed to providing you with the most useful and efficient way for you to maximize your learning. I thought it was Notion, and then I thought it was Rome Research or Obsidian, but I was all wrong. And here I am. I think I've really found the jackpot. You all have definitely been missing out on so much and you need this a lot more than you think. I believe that every student in the world needs to try this app. Here's why. RemNote will allow you to organize your thinking, processing, and internalizing in a permanent way through spaced repetition and active recall. In summary, it's like Anki or Quizlet if you're familiar with those two platforms, but with an infinite amount of notes built in with a very fluid structure. I believe that it's the best option out there, something that is entirely unseen in the realm of note-taking, and you can get started with it immediately. It's completely free, quick, and clean to start using right away. So for those that still use Microsoft Word, Google Docs, etc. to take notes, this should be just a simple upgrade from what you are already used to. And I'll share all of my personal RemNote settings to help those of you who are just getting started. It's also ridiculously underrated, and the following is exactly why I believe that this tool is what every student needs to have. RemNote is an extremely unique tool that has built-in active recall functionality, meaning that you won't have to build your own system and can get to work with no friction in the process at all. Active recall is basically the fancy term for quizzing yourself. RemNote allows you to make flashcards directly from your notes by typing two colons. I will explain how I use this feature in lectures in the personal use cases section of this video. Basically, you are given an extremely fluid way to take your notes with RemNote. You have the freedom to structure your own notes, and that exact structure is what is reflected into your flashcards. This is absolutely game-changing and really refines your learning if you figure out how to use it to your largest advantage. You can see everything laid out in front of you, and you can also set flashcards only for the information that you actually want to learn. So how are these flashcards used? You can select four different options of how you feel about the flashcard. Essentially, good, bad, I knew it a little, and I accidentally pressed the show answer button too early, in which case the system will show you the card again in an hour so that you can reevaluate it. The view for the flashcard can also be changed so that you see either side first, which is basically like seeing the front side or the back side on testing yourself with a physical flashcard. Spaced repetition, probably the greatest trick there is to memorizing information effectively. In combination with active recall, spaced repetition will allow you to be a more successful student. Take a look at the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve. By spacing out your studying and using active recall, you can retain so much more information than using any other study methods. By the way, this is backed up by science. No longer worry about looking down at your test with a blank mind. After using this technique, your brain will be filled with tons of information that sticks for the long term. Whether you're studying for a test that's coming up in a few days, weeks, or even months, you can personalize RemNote to fit your own needs. You are able to set goals for how many flashcards you want to get through in one day in your personal settings. Depending on which facial expression you press on the flashcard, the system will let you see the card more frequently if you need help or less frequently if you're familiar with the topic. It would be really nice to see the implementation of a timer option for reviewing specific cards instead of the arbitrary settings through the smiley and frowny faces, which just automatically rotates the cards through, either more often or less often, respectively. Either way, though, I find this feature to be so great as it's just directly built in. This is now my main studying tool on the computer. I love the idea of creating a digital version of your brain to guide your mind through the process of taking in information that you're trying to learn. This is exactly what backlinking or referencing ideas does in RemNote. Just like how you find linking in Rome Research or Obsidian, you are able to connect your thoughts in RemNote, along with the many other transformative features it houses. This ability to literally link ideas on your screen allows you to create a structural path for your thinking and externalize your memory. 
It's a tool that allows you to see your thoughts and ideas in action on screen. I find that linking certain concepts really aids my understanding of the topic in general, and I can see all of the interconnections to view a full picture. You can link to a specific REM or a specific document on RemNote through typing two brackets, just like on Rome Research and Obsidian. You can then click on the page to go there, or if it hasn't been created yet, the system will create a new page automatically and take you there. This is the truly amazing feature that sets RemNote apart from Anki. Arguably, one of the most important things to learn when taking your notes is to structure everything on your own. For example, you may have heard from many instructors that it's better for you to make your own study guides for exams instead of simply looking at theirs. Of course, this is much more troublesome for us as students, but I promise that this definitely does improve your understanding of the information. So it is important that you structure your notes in a way that allows you to learn. Luckily, RemNote gives you so much freedom to customize your note taking and tailor it to your own liking. The structure of your notes is shown in your flashcards so that you can see everything while actively recalling your information. Within your flashcards, you can also choose to make the hidden information or what they call closed knowledge into bullet points with three colons or even a numbered system using two colons followed by the number one. To choose exactly what information to have closed, you can also type control, shift, and then the open bracket button and highlight your text. You can also add portals into your document directly, which is basically like a mini window into another document right there on your screen. So I find that the main thing holding me back from typing all of my notes on any app in general is that I find it extremely distracting and overwhelming to see too many words on the screen at once. It just makes me feel really disoriented and I no longer am able to focus on the specific task at hand. Mentally, I like focusing my energy on one specific line of text as I am reading or writing. RemNote also allows for transclusion or toggling for each of your bullet points. Instead of something like Notion where you actually need to set the parameter for the bullet as a toggle, you are able to collapse any data bullet that you'd like, which is very handy when it comes to organizing your notes. Similarly, zooming into one bullet and blocking out the rest of the page can be extremely helpful when, for instance, you're reviewing just one single subject instead of the entire chapter of information. This mimics your brain focusing in and honing in on one topic. RemNote is available to use offline, you can just leave the tab open on your screen and it will automatically upload once you're connected to the internet again. You can even close the tab and everything will still work smoothly. This leads me into my next point, which is that RemNote can be used on any mobile device just through their native web browser app. Again, you can close the tabs as you'd like and everything will sync automatically. This is really powerful and convenient as well. Another useful feature for students on the go is the option to edit your flashcards later. Say that while you're reviewing your flashcards, you find a mistake in one of the lines and you need to edit it, but you're on your phone and don't really want to cut your workflow. You can click the edit later button on your screen and just get back to it later. This is great for anyone that often goes out without their laptops and just want to spend more time going through some content purely on their phone. The quick add feature on RemNote is also really convenient. You are able to make a quick note and just jot down some ideas. This works well for when you're carrying your phone around too, or you just need to start an idea that you want to elaborate on later. RemNote has some really great keyboard shortcuts that allow you to speed up your workflow. Just like other apps, it'll probably take some time to get used to, but once you are familiarized with the keys, you'll be able to double the speed of navigating the platform. The sidebar feature on RemNote allows you to multitask and bring up two screens at once. It's super helpful if you need to edit two of your documents as you're bringing together ideas through the referencing feature. You are able to embed all sorts of media into your page. This includes referencing a document link as a source, which you do by just typing in the link in the source section under the title, or you can add pictures, YouTube videos, and audio. I'm not personally using Remno as a planner, as I use a separate calendar app for that, but you could very well implement to-do lists into RemNote as well. Just type slash to-do and you're all set. RemNote also has a really great dark mode incorporated into its system. I personally only use light mode, but dark mode can be pretty nice to view at night or just for anyone that loves the dark side. 
The main cons I have found with using RemNote are one, the steep learning curve, and two, the aesthetic appearance. Hopefully I've helped you all out with the learning curve a little bit by explaining everything through this video, and if I said anything that was specifically helpful, please like the video and let me know in the comments because it really means so much to me to hear any feedback from you. Now for the second con, aesthetics, I like to think of this issue this way. Imagine carrying a huge deck of cards with you everywhere, especially as a college student walking to the library, to class, and to your dorm. That would really not be a good time. The days of physical flashcards are over, and RemNote is the first step you need to take towards improving your chances of success as a student. Its interface is already so much better than a huge chunk of cards in your backpack. It's portable, quick, powerful, and easy to use. So think on the bright side have a little more positivity, and see the glass half full. One thing that I actually enjoy about the experience is having the lines following your bullet points, just like the feature on Rome. It makes everything a lot easier to see. Although there's a lot of visual aspects of RemNote that could be greatly improved, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of that beauty for the revolutionary features of this unique tool. If you've seen my previous note-taking videos, you'll know that I love how Obsidian's development team is great at taking suggestions and bug discoveries from their users and then updating their app based on what their users request. RemNote is quite similar. You can directly contact their team through Twitter and they have a Reddit page as well. You can also shoot them an email if you'd like. They strongly encourage user feedback and love hearing new feature requests, which is just so wonderful. Here's my favorite part though. You can actually schedule a one-on-one -on -one live demo with one of the creators of the tool. It's a quick 15-minute meeting of someone literally walking you through the entire process. I don't know about you, but I think that this is such an amazing feature and it really shines through for the development team. I can truly feel how much they care about their users. Another great thing is that RemNote has pretty good development of APIs. So if you're missing the Rome Research and Obsidian Graph View features, and wondering where that is for RemNote, it's not natively incorporated into the app, but you can actually develop your own. I'll link to the API that someone else has created for it, and you can just integrate that into your own page. It won't be absolutely perfect, but if you're looking for that amazing visual representation of your mental connections, you can still have it. And the list of great things about RemNote goes on. The next thing is price. RemNote is absolutely free and you will forever have access to all of the free features that I mentioned in this video. That is extraordinary. You are able to get your hands dirty with this exceptional tool, all at no cost. It's a win-win situation for everyone. Another great thing is its sustainability. RemNote has a specific three-part commitment plan, and it's pretty clear that they have respect for their users and don't plan on abandoning us anytime soon. And if you're still worried, if for whatever reason RemNote ends someday, the developers are releasing all of the code into an open source project so that you can run it as an app on your computer, locally. So there really is nothing to worry about at all. And although I don't know these developers personally, I certainly trust them on that. So why exactly am I saying that you need to join RemNote right at this moment? Well, the first issue is the price. The team is going to make sure that there will be a feature-rich, free-for-life version of the tool, but there will be a pro subscription in the future. They say that it will be in the far future, so I would recommend that you get your hands on the free version right now. The team also says that if any of the current features are moved into the pro subscription, current users will have grandfathered access to use the feature as we are using it right now. So if you join too late, you might need to pay for some of the features that I've mentioned in this video. Take advantage of what you have access to right now and act on it. I can see this app blowing up in the future and you'll be able to be a proud longtime user. I am in the process of making a very exciting and different video coming soon. So subscribe to be one of the first to watch it, but I will give you guys a little hint of what it entails. I will discuss a little bit of my own note-taking process for lectures, studying, and reviewing information. For RemNote though, a quick peek into my workflow is that I go through taking lecture notes while the lecturer is speaking, and then afterwards, I will go back into the document and turn any information I need into a flashcard. This allows me to organize all of the information 
that I'd actually like to study while not losing any focus during the actual lecture itself. RemNote is the fantastic tool that every student has been searching for. Although it certainly isn't perfect, in my entirely unbiased opinion without any affiliation with the company, I think that they are doing some really wonderful work. The developers are extremely committed and I'm very grateful for all of the work that they've done. If you're a student, you should definitely try this tool out and I truly believe that you won't be able to turn back. Thanks so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. It really does help me out and it means so much. Also, please like the video and leave a comment to let me know if I was able to help you out. If you have any questions, please drop them below as well and I'll get back to you very soon. See you all in my next video.